Hello again. This is the final cockpit commentary for Math 1431 for spring of 2024. We're on course and on schedule. Uh, with your new instructor, you will begin Chapter 4 today. Um, at the end of the period, uh, I expect that um, she will pass out uh, quizzes 4 and 5. Uh, the results and solutions have been recorded in Blackboard, and the solutions are given here. I've also sent terms of reference individual emails to each and every student, and I'm going to repeat uh, the lecture about uh, how to do better. I think it's worth repeating. Uh, here's the year-to-date summary. These are the uh, year-to-date uh, rounded averages. And you can see the grading scale that is here, 90 and above is an A, and things like that. Uh, you do need uh, 70 or better, guaranteeing a C, to be successful and move to the next course. And uh, you can see that there are uh, seven of you who are uh, currently at that state. And that means that 18 of you are not uh, being successful right now. So, uh, but you can fix that, and we'll talk more about that later. Let's go over the uh, quiz four. All work uh, had to be shown to receive full credit. You were to give exact answers, not approximate. You may use your book, notes, and consult with your classmates. There's not really a good excuse for not doing well on these. Uh, no calculator, phone, uh, app, notes, or help from uh, others other than your classmates. And there were 36 uh, points. Uh, I converted these to uh, a fraction and rounded up the percentage. Okay, number one, uh, suppose that the point six, nine is on the graph of y equals f of x. Find the point on y equals f of x minus three. You shift three right, the answer should have been nine, nine. Find a point on the graph of y equal f of x minus three. You shift down three, six, nine becomes six, six. Find a point on the graph of y equals three times f of x. Multiply the y value by three and you get uh, the point uh, 6, 9 becomes the point 6, 27. Uh, find a point on the graph of y equal f of 3x. You divide um, by 3 for the x, and that gives you 2, 9 as a point. And last but not least, find a point on the graph of y equal f of minus x divided by minus 1 for the x, and you get this is a reflection um, through the uh, y-axis. This is um, minus 6, 9. Uh, the second problem, you were to show all your work and find the difference quotient f of x plus h minus f of x over h for f of x equal 1 over x squared. And so what you should have written, I gave you four points for this, 1 over x plus h whole squared minus 1 over x squared over h. And then you got two points for the numerator and two points for the denominator. When you simplify this, you should have gotten minus uh, 2x uh, uh, minus h over x squared times the whole of x plus h whole squared, and that had to be a minus there. And there were two points for the numerator and two points for the denominator, a total of eight points. Uh, here you were to let uh, f of x equal minus, eight, uh, minus 4x squared plus um, 8x minus 2, and you were to put this in vertex formula. And so you factored out the minus 4, uh, out of the first two terms and left the minus 2 there. You completed the square, so we get minus 4 times x minus 1 whole squared plus 2. And here we subtracted 4, uh, so what we uh, would do is we would um, uh, add 4. When you add 4 to minus 2, you get plus 2. And so the answer for this one was minus 4, x minus 1 whole squared plus 2. Uh, we can also solve uh, this for the uh, uh, x-intercepts, uh, you set y to be 0, and you get x is equal to uh, 1 uh, plus or minus uh, square root of 2 over 2. So the vertex was 1, 2. Uh, the x-intercepts, the y was 0, and I got 1 plus or minus 2 square root of 2 over 2. Uh, the y-intercept was when you put um, uh, uh, 0 into the function up here for x, you get minus 2. The domain was minus infinity to infinity. The range, you can see here, goes from minus infinity up to 2 with a bracket. And the sketch of the graph is here. You should have shown the vert vertex, um, both intercepts, 
um, that it's opening down and so on and so forth and that would give you a total of 18 points this way two 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 and uh, and five and then three for up here and here are the results on uh, quiz four just talking about quiz four by itself 12 students uh, scored good enough to move in the next course but 13 did not Uh, here's quiz five. Uh, this is the key. Again, all work must be shown to receive full credit. Give exact answers. Do not approximate. You may use your book, notes, and consult with classmates. But no calculator, phone, app, notes, or help from others. Um, the way I calibrated this was 32 po possible points. I converted this to a percentage and rounded up. So a uh, home gardener estimates that if she plants 16 apples, the average yield will be uh, 80 apples per tree, but uh, each additional tree planted will decrease the yield by four apples per tree and let X be the number of additional trees beyond 16. So you have 16 plus X trees and the yield of each tree is uh, 80 minus 4X. And you could have multiplied that, but this is the equation that you wanted to get for part A. That was five points. For part B, uh, you should say how many trees should be planted to maximize the total yield. Well, the maximum value of the, um, uh, of the quadratic uh, happens when um, x is 2, but that's the amount that you add. So the answer should have been 16 plus 2, or 18 is the correct answer for this. Again, 5 points and 5 points for a total of 10. Here you're supposed to graph, sketch the graph of uh, minus 3x squared, x minus 4, x plus uh, 2, uh, to the uh, third power. Okay, so the roots are going to be minus 2, 0, and 4. That's where it's going to hit the x-axis. But the crossing should be a wiggle at minus 2, a bounce at 0, and cut through this way from positive to negative at 4. Uh, the end behavior was like this, and we had to have that, and you had to have three turning points uh, shown. Here is one turning point, two turning points, and three turning points. Uh, so that was worth 10 points, and here's how the points were allocated. Uh, for number three, you were given uh, f of x, uh, y equals f of x equal x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 3. Note this is an even function, so you get the same values whether it is plus or minus. You're supposed to list all possible rational roots, and those were going to be plus or minus 3 and plus or minus 1. That was worth four points. You were to show that none of your possible zeros work using synthetic division. So you had to do 3 and minus 3 for each of those since it was an even function. You got 120 and that was not equal to 0. For 1 and minus 1, you get 8 not equal to 0. That again was worth 4 points for those you did correctly. And you were to factor f of x into distinct linear factors. So you can factor this into x squared plus 3, x squared plus 1, but you want it to be in linear factors. So this is going to be x plus uh, or minus i times square root of 3, and this is x plus or minus i, and that was worth four points, one for each linear factor. And uh, just considering uh, uh, quiz uh, five by itself, uh, seven of you did uh, well enough to uh, pass the course, 18 uh, did not. Now, how can you do better? And we talked about this before, but I was referencing uh, Sandra McGuire's uh, book that she wrote with her daughter about strategies to improve um, how you do in a course. And we went through these uh, true or false questions. Again, the answer should be true. Uh, for all these, you should preview the material that will be discussed before you go to class. Go over the lecture notes as soon as possible after lecture and rework the examples and note any problem areas. I try to do my homework without using example problems as a guide or copying answers from my notes or textbook. You're practicing again. I regularly go to office hours or tutoring to discuss problems or questions about my homework. The Learning Commons is open over 50 hours a week. You should think about going there. I work, I rework all the homework problems and questions uh, before the test or quiz. I spend some time studying for the class at least five days a week outside of class. I make mnemonics, um, uh, memory aids for myself to help me remember facts and equations. 
I make diagrams or draw mental pictures of the concepts discussed in class. I participate in a study group where we do homework and quiz ourselves on the material. This is a great thing to do. I rework all the quiz and test items I've missed before the next class session. I realize that I can still do well in the class even if I've done poorly on the quizzes and tests up to this point. This is worth repeating. I realize that I can still do well in this class even if I've done poorly on the quizzes and tests up to this point. Now, what she does is she also says the number of those uh, questions that you answered true for, if you had nine or more, you probably would earn an A in the course. Six to eight, you would earn a B. Four to five, earn a C. Two to three, uh, or less than three, three or less, you probably will not be successful in the course. But she makes a big point of noting that you can change your predicted grade at any point by changing your behavior uh, such that more of the statements are true. She had a number of case studies uh, from many STEM courses and many uh, math courses. Uh, she taught chemistry, so there's more math, uh, there's more chemistry here uh, than other people. Uh, but you can see that the things that are not underscored were the scores before they started following her advice. Once they started following advice, they did dramatically better. Uh, work is good for you. The harder you work, the better you will do. Now remember uh, about this course, why you should care. This is a five semester hour course. This, co this course counts in your GPA as much or more than the other courses you're taking. Moreover, this is a gateway course. It's how you take pre-calc two and also statistics. No, the course gets harder from here on, and this is not high school. This is COD math. Um, in closing, now more than ever, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math, it will make you strong. And now more than ever, take care of yourself because self-care is important. And now more than ever, take care of each other because we're all in this together. Uh, God bless you all, and I wish you success as you look ahead, not behind.